<laughs> Hello, hi, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. My name is Jim. We're listening to music. We are listening to a cast iron guarantee. This has come through from Rudy. Um, I, I won't go into the detail of the early part of this email because it's I'll give too much away stuff, but it's uh, bemoaning the lack of being able to remember passwords. And it's kind of one of the biggest bugbears for all of us in the modern world, isn't it? Having to keep track of passwords for all your different uh, online accounts and uh, and stuff. It just becomes unmanageable. And um, <laughs> poor Rudy said, if only, if oh, life would be so much easier if only we didn't have to remember so many passwords. I agree. Absolutely, I agree. Now, we skip past that. We get to the important part of this, which is about some music. This is about a band. It is about a band called Return to Forever. Um, to my absolute disgrace and horror, I have never heard of this band. And when I saw who was in it, I thought, oh, my God, I really should have done. And how important they are. So it's a uh, prog, jazz, fusion, rock band. Um, um Rudy and his school friends uh, listened to this when they were about 18 years old and he rediscovered this music at about the age of 40. So I don't know how old you are, Rudy, now, but uh, I don't think that was last year, was it? Um, this was recorded in 1976 and every time he listened to this, uh, um, Tim, I think this is your son, isn't it, says, I can't believe that the sound is so perfect compared to a lot of 70s music. So in 1976, Return to Forever were, I don't know, I'm guessing that means the lineup must have changed over the years. Uh, so it's Chick Corea on all the synths and keyboards, uh, Stanley Clark on bass, Lenny White on drums, and then someone, I've never heard of this one, <laughs> Aldi Miola on guitars. Uh, he joined the band in 1974 and he was only 20. Um, there are three pieces of music we're going to be listening to, all taken from the album uh, Romantic Warrior. Uh, on this album, all four members had composed songs. The three uh, of Chick Career ended up being Rudy's favourites, and I think that's what we're now going to listen to. So we've got three tracks. We've got Medieval Overture, Romantic Warrior, and The Duel of the Jester and the Tyrant. All three songs deserve at least nine out of ten points. <laughs> but if there is one which is the closest to perfect, it's the last one. So that's the duel of the jester and the tyrant. Not only the composition, but the playing of it, that you can imagine the duel just by listening to the music. Oh, that's awesome, isn't it? I love that. So music is so descriptive. It can, without words, it can take you somewhere and deliver. That's, that's really an important thing. In film music, that's really, really obvious in a lot of pieces. But that's uh, that's a lovely thing, um, and the key and the duel is the keyboard versus the guitar, and it makes it very special. He's looking forward very much to watching me enjoy this. So I better enjoy them, hadn't I? Um, there we go. So there's a bit more to the email, but that's more stuff to me. Uh, so we're going to leave that there and then get on and listen to Return to Forever. Three, two, one. Ooh, that sounds like something Orbital would have written. Thank you. 
I have to say, you're absolutely right, really. The recording of this, the production is incredible. Haunted house music. This is really good. Everything's playing the same notes. Playing in unison. That's what you should be saying, Jim. <laughs> Woo. I love the use of the effects as well. So the reverb that's on there has gone away completely. Brought the whole, everything's right to the front. this on record. Oh, well, I want this in the collection. I really do. Many of you will not know the band Orbital that, I'm, that I mentioned at the beginning. It's uh, started up in the early 90s, um, electronic uh, dance act, two brothers. This sounds so much like Orbital. Maybe they sampled it. This is the uh, second track. This is actually called Romantic Warrior. That first one was uh, Medieval Overture. Is that a cello? Or double bass?
I tell you what, this album is coming to the channel. I've got to listen to this. I've got to listen to all of this. This is just too good. Drum sound is incredible. Rudy, mate.
This is absolutely spectacular. can't get over how incredibly together tight they all are as a unit. This is unbelievably good. There's so much colour and texture in it. It's just amazingly well recorded. Those symbols, little choke there, the symbols just sound beautiful. Gee whiz. Um, right. This is the duel of the jester and the tyrant.
wonder which one's the jester and which one's the tyrant. I'm going to go guitar tyrant. That's a very sort of jazz fusion cool tune. Wow, wow.
There's another band that um, this puts me in mind of, which is obviously much more recent, so I'm not saying it's a similar thing. They obviously were influenced by this. Is uh, the Aristocrats. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> goodness Rudy you pulled it out of the bag this time didn't you you certainly did return to forever taken from the romantic warrior we had let me refer to my notes uh, medieval overture romantic warrior and the duel of the jester and the tyrant um, unbelievably well recorded and played and performed um, orchestrated uh, it just everything about it was a sonic, um, just like ear candy. It's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, I cannot begin to understand how prolific. Oh, not how prolific. That's the wrong word. How um, how gifted you must be as a musician, and to be in a room with others of equal stature to produce music like this. 
And I think uh, it, 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 it kind of just made me think as we're going along that uh, we all say, oh, it's the best band in the world. That's the best music in the world. It's the best. It never is. You can never say that. There's always something around the corner which is going to be better. There's always something which is going to blow your socks off. And today, this has just done that. I cannot wait to get this on record. I cannot wait to hear all of this. I really want this record. I just, it's, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing to me. And, uh, oh my goodness. I can't also get over how fresh and modern sounding it sounded in places. It really, it was just extraordinary. What a thing. What a thing. Rudy, sir, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. Um, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Rudy, sir, thank you. I hope to see you all on the next video whenever and whatever that is. Until then, this is Jim, over 